plants are the foundation of life on Earth. When they first came out onto the dry land, they effectively changed the whole chemistry of the atmosphere and um, the, the biology of life was changed forever. Plants make the atmosphere. They effectively seem to make climate as well. So they're at the base of everything, not just what we eat, but what we breathe and the rain that falls out of the skies. Plants are deceptively simple. It's extraordinary that we understand so little about how they work. The simplest aspects of plant function are still a mystery. So every day uh, when we're doing experimental work here, we're, we're looking at things that nobody understands. And, and so every new piece of information that we collect is new information to science. So it's, it's, it's extremely exciting to, to know that you're, you're discovering things that, that nobody knows about. I've always been really interested in how things work. At the end of school, went and did an undergrad here at, um, at the University of Tasmania, where I studied biology, which led me to do a PhD here, which was three years of creating your own project. And, and um, after that, I went to Harvard for, for about five years um, and basically just lived in the, in the rainforest in Costa Rica, studying plants and having a great time. And after that, I came back here. I run a team here of, of um, three or four PhD students and we work together on really diverse set of questions. You know, why, why do plants die during drought? You know, how did, the, how did the vegetation of Australia change as climate changed? Um, how do basic plant systems evolve? And these, are, these are all things that we're working on together. So there's a real diversity of questions and then there's a diversity of tasks, I suppose, because you have to you do the research, you collect the data, and then you have to communicate that with the rest of the world. But one of the most satisfying things is the way people respond to it. So you just see this sort of web of people who are interested and then working together in this community with you. And that's one of the most satisfying things, I suppose, is, is sort of sharing that knowledge and being part of the scientific community. The most important discoveries in science come from um, people engaged in, in pure research. Uh, it has very broad implications for you know agriculture, um, forestry, geology, climate change. There's there, there's a whole swath of, of um, people who will will benefit from the from these discoveries about how plants work. Everywhere where I've been overseas, particularly where you're in in jungles and you with people who who live from the from the forest, they have to have an interest in plants because that's you know, that's their their lives depend on it. They might be carrying around bows and arrows and um, hunting cassowary, but when you bring out your equipment, they're they're just absolutely fascinated and, and really want to help, which is quite exciting. Uh, you know, I've walked for three days with a guy barefoot up a, up a limestone mountain um, because he wanted to show me some tree that that uh, he thought might be interesting for me. It's kind of like a common language that everyone everyone wants to talk about. I started as a PhD student to collect all of the, the conifers that used to grow in, in Tasmania 40 million years ago. There was Australia used to be a, a rainforest of conifers and uh, that all became wiped out as Australia became drier and drier. So I, during my PhD, went around the southern hemisphere collecting all the uh, remnants of um, uh, of these things that as they became extinct in Australia they they kind of uh, jumped ship as it became drier and drier and um, and I brought them all back to Australia and, and have this great collection of, of um, conifers from all around the southern hemisphere that were all growing here 40 million years ago and, and one project is to get them back into the ground on the west coast um, so I've got a piece of land there and I want to just recreate Tasmania as it was 40 million years ago.